Hi guys, it's Crafty Mim. Sorry my video was short earlier because my husband came in. <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm not in the best spot to do filming. Go away. Go. And where I'm in my living room, it is like my son comes up from the basement. My husband comes in from outside, and I'm like, really? I don't have a wall where I can put, I'm filming. <laughs> so until I get my shed done, and I'm able to be out there safely without falling over stuff. Falling is not fun, especially when you're out there in the middle of the night, and your husband's sleeping. <laughs> so... I don't like the way this cover came came out. Uh, my leaves have blended into this picture and I'm not liking it. So I am going to try to get leaves and take my beeswax and brush it on like a glassine type of seal and see if I can put some of them on here. I don't like these. They're not looking well. They look very, very, they need help. <laughs> Cause they're getting smashed by everything where I'm at. I sit with my stuff on the table next to me. So yes, it needs help. Okay, enough about that. So I did put my my tassel thing on there's the back we've already seen this so this is my progress on this journal it's been slow because i've been doing a lot of hanging outside with my husband as i should be instead of being in here and you know watching youtube when he's outside i should be hanging out with my husband <laughs> be a good wife that, see that? That just broke off. Anyway. So. But yeah. I've been working on it. Trying to. I got the, got the idea with the cats. They don't like Fabri-Tac. It's got that acetone smell. You pull the cap off. That's as far as I got to get now. And he takes <laughs> the high road. <laughs> I know I'm a mean cat mom, but when I'm recording or working, I need my space because Thelma Ann will lay here and Teddy Bear will lay here and I have no room to work. So, okay. Here's my cover. I put my faux tape down that, you know, you can buy from Tim Holtz or you can make it with regular scotch tape. alcohol ink and a brush it's easy I can do it right now for you so easy to do I mean I know Timmy's selling it in a book but you just put it down like that I know I've shown this before Put a couple of drops of the alcohol ink on the brush. Doesn't take long to dry. You just put it on there like that. And you got your antique tape. So. That's all you need. Now you let it dry for a minute. Just takes a second. I got my ceiling fan on, so. And you peel it off. You're, you gotta put it on a wax paper or something so it doesn't, it comes up easy. And it doesn't rip. Or if it rips, it doesn't matter. And then you just stick it on your page. It looks like an old paper. It doesn't come off because it's dry. 
I got some there. I got some there. I did I did pull this out the other day of my shed. It's Tuesday morning. <laughs> I bought it 2019. It's from Tuesday morning. I'm like, uh so I brought that in and I've used used the, the colors. I like the colors because it went with the browns. This is a pocket I made. Just little things I cut out. Little bits and pieces. Out of the paper. And I did put a little stamping on it because it was out of I think I made it out of a folder. So, and I put stamps all over it. Put some lace on it. And this is Timmy, as I said before. And then the bow bunny. There's my own tape, my own tape. This is out of that book. Just some washi. Washi again. Stamps I got from Globeland. Put it on a book page. And that was the folder too. And that's a stamp I have too. Mm -hmm. I hope everybody had a good day today. This is a pocket of a CD pocket. Um, got them off of Amazon. It looks like this. Just a CD pocket. And I just ripped off the top. And I, you know, they come in a pack of 50 so you get a ton of them <laughs> more than I would probably use in a lifetime so some stamps I did these came from Globeland I think and this is from the paper that I'm using I think it's just about done. I don't know what else to do with it. I'm just, it's kind of a, I don't know, a boring journal to me, I think. And just, I don't know, I like the princess journal. And there's the pocket I made out of some of this tool. I don't know where I got it from, but I got a ton of it. I have no idea where I get that from. Um, they don't know. It's extra ride ribbon. It must have been from either Hobby Lobby or Michaels. Oh, it's Michaels. So, Timu paper. There's my little clips that I've been buying the heck out of on there. They're just so cute. I love those little clips. And I just made this card out of the paper. And I just took it around. And I put it there with the little clip. Holding it. Some ribbon and some of the from the burlap that's coming apart. I got pieces, bits and pieces here. I've been pulling from. <laughs> Whoops! Sorry for my nails because I've been inking. I had messed that guy up, but that's okay. I did. Whatever. Oh, there's some more. I love him. I love hedgehogs. They're so cute. 
then here's the pocket. I've shown you that before. I'm just showing you the updates I've done on it. That one's a stiff one. I guess because of the lace. Then I made this pocket here. This is three layers. And I just put all these little cards in there. And I just stapled the lace on them. Little birdies. Yeah, I just layered three different lace uh, papers from Timu. I think that no, they're not this one. I can't remember which one it was, but they're the little ones from Timu. And we got pockets. Aren't they cute? Little journaling cards. And I just stapled the laces on there. Another cluster I made and made it into a pocket. And these are from uh, uh, Bo Bunny. I made a pocket at a tuck spot out of that. And that's a tuck spot. That's from Bo Bunny. There's the little paper clips from Tim Holtz. I put in there and I sewed this together with a cluster and just put it under the belly by the belly band. So cute. I think it's just about ready to be sewn up. not a fat gator mouth journal like the princess one but I want to leave a lot of space because the, the images in here are gorgeous so I want to leave a lot of space for pictures and you can put down postcards and stuff like that and whatever and there's paper you can journal on but uh, there's not a lot of places to put a lot of pockets. So here's a double pocket that I made right there and then one behind it. So this is old, old paper. Old. I don't know even where I got it from. Something I pulled from the shed. <laughs> a cluster I made. Timmy paper. And then this is a Boo Bunny chipboard piece I put in there. I mean, not every journal you do, you have to put a lot of pockets, a lot of tuck spots or anything like that because some people, like me, I do scrapbooking in these. I'll do a journal. I did one for my grandkids of going to the beach. And I didn't finish it, obviously. <laughs> but I wanted to use it to put pictures in. So you put pockets and stuff in, you cover them. So, but yeah. And that's the end of it. So, I mean, I don't know. Give me ideas what you think about it if I should be doing more I mean it's getting little gator mouth it's not a big book I mean it's getting there some people like the gator mouth books but I mean if I go more on it it will go gator mouth but I'm not liking this so but anyway thank you for watching uh I'm so happy I got 700 subscribers. Yeah, yeah. Bring them on.
I want to get up that thousand so I can start getting monetized. And yeah, and I don't know. Maybe I don't. <laughs> but anyway, well, thank you for watching. Please keep commenting, keep subscribing, and give me the thumbs up and share and like, you know, you know the drill. I love y'all. Have a good night. Bye.